views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The doctor is in. Welcome to the Psychic Love Doctor with host Deborah Lee. Deborah has been practicing, teaching, and perfecting the personal prophecy card reading method for 20 plus years. This life-affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. This inspiring show will help you never feel helpless in life or love ever again. Now here's your host, Deborah Lee. Hi, welcome to the Psychic Love Doctor Show with our fabulous host, Deborah Lee, and our special guest today. Yes, and also you, Daryl, the resident hubster slash uh, intuitive co-host. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, it's a big title for a big man. <laughs> yes, we have got a very special guest today. In fact, I saw her earlier this week walking through the halls of the Healing Fountain here in Virginia Beach, where I have an office and, and uh, often see people passing by, and it was none other than... Tegan Lindley, who is a fabulous uh, sex therapist. She has been gently coaching couples since 1996 on the art of intimacy, passion, and trust within the relationship dynamic. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a good show. In other words, she's a sex expert, and we're <laughs> going to pick her brain today, and we're going to find out some really good tips and tricks and all kinds of information. But in the meantime, I'd like you all to know that please call in with any reading question you may have. Daryl will give you the number here in a minute uh, so that you can interrupt us at any time. We honestly don't mind. We'll cover any issue or topic that is on your mind that you feel is requiring a personal prophecy reading. For those of you who are new today with us, I practice personal prophecy which my grandmother taught me over 30 years ago. It uses nothing but an ordinary deck of playing cards and a method that is so revolutionary, I think, because not only are we able to perceive the future, but we are able to utilize choice and change while we're still living in the present to literally improve that future. I think that's really awesome. And it has been downright miraculous in the lives of many over the years. And I'm still humbled still tremendously humbled whenever these amazing insights actually become reality. So, do interrupt us. We honestly don't mind. The only thing we ask is, let's keep it kind of on the clean side with your calls. We don't want to get, (coughs) excuse me, off in the weeds too much. Too risque? (coughs) Yeah. Right. And the number? The number is 1-800-930-2819. Well, my goodness, we already have a call. Should we take one at the start here? Sure. All right. All right, let's go to Keep Jen from tight. Norfolk. Hi, Jen. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Jen. Hi, Daryl. How are you? Well, we're great. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. I have a few questions. Okay, let's get started. Well, first I just want to say thank you so much for my previous readings because I feel like every single time I have a reading with you, I always question whether or not it's actually going to come to fruition, and almost every single time it does. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Oh, thank you. You just made my whole day because I never get tired of hearing that. You know, I consider myself just the messenger here between intuitive energy and as I, you know, bring it to you, to which, which it will then, well, I guess kind of like gel with your own energy. Well, manifest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of it is that you're hearing these insights and you're making them become reality. I am right. only just well, giving you a hint or two, but otherwise, really, how, it's an inside works, job on your part. I've been, <laughs> yeah, however it works, I've been very pleased, so thank you so much. for. Oh, thank for you. you. All there. right, let's get started. Yeah. The cards are sizzling and going to yeah. come hot off the griddle here. 
awesome. So I ha- have just been um, shown an opportunity business-wise, and it has to do with me basically starting my own business. It's an opportunity that's in front of me, and I can obviously take it and run with it if I want to. And it's kind of business that I've done before in, you know, a few years ago, but it has to do with the skincare line. And I'm not going to say what the name is or anything because at this point it doesn't matter. But um, I did attend a business meeting to kind of learn more about um, the product and the compensation plan and how it works. And um, and so I have done my due diligence to just kind of looking at it. So far, everything checks out. It looks like something that if I were to put some energy into it, it would do really well for me. However, I don't know if I'm at a place in my life where I want to take even more responsibility because I'm quite um, busy with my current responsibilities in my career right now. So that would almost be like a second job to me. And I'm actually kind of just enjoying uh, what little free time I do have pursuing other things that I enjoy. So, you know, I guess my question is, is this opportunity that's being presented to me, is it something that I shouldn't shy away from? Is it, um, am, am I losing out if I don't pursue it as a business? Or will I have other chances later on in life? Um, you know, I just, I'm kind of like, just kind of wondering, like, oh, should I move forward with this? And become a, you know, a business partner in this, um, and a consultant in this, this growing, um, product, or should I just kind of lay low and just be, you know, someone who's just a happy, you know, fan of this. Okay, Jen, Jen, I think we got it here for you. And this is, I feel is going to be a confirmation to what you are already sensing about this opportunity. The timing Uh isn't quite correct. I'm, I'm hearing okay. six to nine months in the future. Right now, if you go to take this step, I feel it's going to be a misstep that you will be okay. a little bit sorry you jumped in too quick. Okay, great. Are the, those okay. who yeah, are in this particular it. business are painting a really rosy picture. And there's a uh-huh. particular woman involved here. I think she could be like a, um, what would you call it in like the... Uh, Mm-hmm. The, yeah, like a, a person that would be, say, over you or me, um, in a, le- a mentor or leadership position. Uh-huh. I don't yep. think it's going as successfully as she's putting out there. Okay. She's, putting out so there. She's, okay. Good. she's looking to grab as many people as she can who will try to make her position better. But right. realistically, I don't think you can p- give enough attention to this right now. And I feel it will only cause you to become exhausted and overwhelmed to the point where you'll really regret it right now. Down the road, yes, I really think it would be great for you to get your fingers in a new pie. It'll really be good for your spirit, for your energy, just for you to be doing something Uh that's really creative. And I see that you are extremely good as in the field of sales, that you really have a handle on the whole field which is difficult it takes talent you know it's like being a hairdresser everybody can go to hairdressing school but how many really have the talent i would wager right. not nearly as many as those that graduate so you do okay. have marvelous abilities but wait a little bit wait for a better moment okay. you, you well, get what I i'm saying you a, yeah am i able to ask you about um you know, right now in my current career, um, I'm doing really well. And you had actually predicted that for me. Um, so the money is right, everything. I'm, I'm achieving my goals in my current career, and everything is definitely easier than it was last year. So, like, everything that you said basically that was going to happen actually is happening. <laughs> which Wonderful. Is great. Hey, um, that's good. So, <laughs> I'm really happy. So, I'm sharing in yeah, your success. So what would you like me to tell you? And we'll probably have to answer your question after break that's coming up. But what would you like me to look at for you about your current work? Well, well, there was another job opportunity that was on hold, which you had said. um, And 
come April, I'm going to be told whether or not that opportunity is still available to me. Now, this position would be with a different company, and it would be paying me twice as much as I'm making now. And I'm wondering if that's still, based on what you had said previously, if that's still a good opportunity for me to take if they say, yes, we want you. Okay, you know, Jen, sit I'm tight. Sure We're going to go to break, and I'll get right back to you when we get back. All right, let's take a break here. We'll be right back in a couple minutes. Finish our conversation with Jen. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basili and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. The ancient Inca root vegetable maca is world-renowned for its wide array of health benefits. As a family-run company of true maca specialists, the maca team's mission is to provide you with fresh, organic, premium quality maca powders at a fair price amazing all of the products are always organically grown fair traded gmo free fresh and potent so don't take my word for it experience the life-changing benefits of maca today visit the team.com hi i'm tim darter and i'm steve kramer join us on spirit fire radio discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day and watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. The Doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor Show with our host, Deborah Lee, and our special guest, Tegan Lindley. We were talking to Jen, and we're going to get back to her and finish up our reading with her. Yes. We're doing a career question, yes. and it's a good question. I'll tell you, personal prophecy is awesome when it comes to either affairs of the heart or the career path that we are taking or should be taking. So, Jen, you're still with us. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, good. I would like to tell you that I see that the money, and there is a certain amount of prestige that goes with this job, that it would be wonderful in that sense, but I'm also feeling that it may not be the time for you to to go and accept this job, that there's, a, 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 in your cards I'm seeing that there's a special someone that would be pulling on your heartstrings and make you regret taking such a big step with a relocation of that kind. But that ah. what? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, 
Well, you know, I'm just telling you what I feel here and intuitively right. I want you to really think hard about it. It's very possible you're going to get offered this position. Make sure, though, that it's what you truly want to do. It could be an opportunity for you to start on a fresh sheet of paper, so to speak. But then on the other hand, I just feel that there's an emotional uh, tie to, to this area that you aren't quite ready to to bring to an end. All right? Right. But and yeah. overall, your cards look good. I feel that this will be an eventful summer for you. Coming up, get prepared. Lo oh, money. I see lots and lots of money and good, wonderful opportunities that will still come your way. Remember, this isn't the last uh, great job on the planet. There are many, many others. So yeah. that's what I would say to you, hon. Okay. That, well, thank you so much. No, you're so welcome, Jen. We love you. <laughs> I love you guys, too. You guys All are right. very Take helpful. Care. Think positively okay. and just follow your heart. It will never steer you wrong. Take okay. care. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Daryl. Bye. Okay. Welcome. Bye-bye. All right. Let's go back to our conversation or our topic here today. And oh, yes. talk to Tegan. All right. Well, Tegan, I'd like to say hello to you. And well, welcome. Hello. And remind our listeners that you are an expert on educating others about sexuality. You hold advanced degrees in both <coughs> education and counseling. So it's like one hand washes the other there. Uh, and you are passionate about your work in overcoming the stigma of sexuality and you encourage couples to enrich their sexual experiences. This all sounds very sexy. <laughs> and you oh. bring to it a lot of joy and a lot of laughter, and I think that's wonderful. We all get a little too serious sometimes, don't we? We do. Thank you for that very scrumptious introduction, and I believe it choked Daryl up. <laughs> yes, it here. did. <laughs> it is. I really look forward to kind of stomping out that stigma of people feeling very... Um, withdrawn and held back from exploring intimacy and sexuality within a relationship. And it, it maybe there are a bit of taboo uh, edges around that topic, but I think that the more people bring it out into the open, the more you can do with it and spice things up. I think so, too. And it shouldn't take, you know, tons of alcohol and a bunch of people getting obliterated at a party to suddenly start openly discussing. Right. Once those boundaries drop, then the uh, role players come out. It does. It does. <laughs> I think it's very healthy. And I want to tell those who are listening, any time that the Psychic Love Doctor show has done a sex topic, we the, the it becomes one of our most popular and most listened to shows. Yeah, the archives go crazy. <laughs> and it's because people are curious. They're curious. They're interested. They want some ideas. They, they do. do. They really do. So you see everybody from singles to a heterosexual couples, gay and lesbian yep. couples. And tell me, is passion, passion, is a universal? Passion is universal. And it's, passion. So what, say, two men would feel is the same as a man and a woman? Well, as a female, I don't know if I could speak for the, the male passion. Um, I think that maybe women and men might experience passion a little bit differently, or even within what turns us on and what our sensors on, what our sensory overload is. I always joke, the woman is turned on through her mind and her emotional body and her brain. And a man, you just walk up and you blow below the waist and there he goes. <laughs> That's all it takes. Oh, I love it. It's I a joke, it. but <laughs> we do react differently to passion and turn-ons. I hope our control room guy didn't just fall off his chair. <laughs> anyway, well, this is good, though. We should laugh. We should engage each other in these conversations play play with one another and how, fun. Do you, how do you get good at it i mean there's in my generation there was that stigma of being loose mm -hmm. and and bimbo like and slutty and all those i mean there was a real stain on your reputation if you were somebody that will say tickle someone's fancy <laughs> yeah but nowadays it seems like mm -hmm. there's a lot look at television Oh, my goodness. You don't know what's going to come out of their mouths or what they're going to do next. 
So I think we're entering a new frontier, don't you? I absolutely agree. I think that um, confidence makes you very good at it, that when you're confident in your own ability, um, that confidence comes across, that desire to want to please your partner makes you good at it. And I know we were talking right before the show started that it doesn't hurt to turn on the telly and find out some new moves. And, By uh, watching, not porn, but some sexy, because I don't think porn is very sexy. Right. It's just plain old blatant, you know, animals do what right. they're doing. Animals, they face they <laughs> function. Yeah, and I think that uh, you're right. Watch a good, sensual, mm -hmm. sensual movie. And I've always been one that copied what I saw. I didn't know how else to to learn, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, men need to be taught. I used to call it. I used to. Uh, wait a minute. Well, no, just a minute. You have your own natural urges. I agree, but when it comes to pleasing a woman, the woman before, say, uh, uh, myself or Tegan, may have liked it a rougher touch or mm -hmm. faster, slower, whatever. I, but I think if you go through a little seminar called, say, Pleasing Deborah 101 <laughs> or Pleasing Tegan 101, that way you learn what we like. Well. You bring up a great point that I am a huge advocate of having that sex talk before you have sex with your partner. Personally, I want to know what turns my partner on, where my partner wants to be touched, and what I can do. And then likewise, I'm going to say, well, you know what? This is what I like. So you have yeah. that conversation. And it goes both ways. We have to teach you ladies what we like, too. Point well taken, Daryl. Yes, you well, know. Uh, men are very visual, so I'm assuming it's um, throw on some lingerie and turn the lights on? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's the way you touch or oh. the way you do other things. It's, it's all a learning experience to be with each other and keep each other happy. And I want to dispel one, one um, misconception right here. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Mm -hmm. I hate every time I hear Dr. Phil say that. Sorry, Dr. Phil, if you're listening. <laughs> but it is so not true. I agree. And I don't feel that if you are sexually adventurous and you're pleasing your partner that you need to worry about them going shopping mm -hmm. and taking, you know, that experience elsewhere. I really don't. So speaking of which, yes. how about sexual fantasies? Oh, Sexual fantasies, now that is a different place. That's the place you can go to, to just um, indulge in your every whim and desire. And, and you become center stage within that fantasy. And it's it's a wonderful, safe place to indulge anything you might want to try. Not, no one's being hurt. No one's being interrupted. Uh, the, you don't hear the baby crying in the next room. The dirty dishes aren't in the sink. And you can just put yourself in that peaceful tropical location and have that handsome cabana pool boy come up and rub your feet. <laughs> yeah. So I, I am a, a bit of an advocate with fantasies. I think they have their place. I think they help spice up your life. You can you can be who you want to be and you can be with the perfect partner. And I have to tell you, Brad Pitt is the best <laughs> partner I've ever had. <laughs> Speaking in terms of fantasy, man, that man is a lover. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, not everyone actually utilizes a fantasy when self-pleasuring. Many people do. Some don't. I think that's a bit of a, a, a misconception or a myth that everyone fantasizes during self-pleasure. Yeah. But it definitely yeah. does spice things up and helps you that bleed over to when you are with a partner. It's a good way for women to learn how to have an orgasm. Yeah. A lot of them don't. That movie, when Harry met Sally, she wasn't kidding in there. There's a lot of great pretenders out there. There are, you know, and I think we shortchange ourselves in pretending because we're not really teaching our partner what we like when we do that. Yeah. But it's also a myth that you have to or you will have an orgasm each time. Sometimes the body is just tired and you're not able to reach orgasm. It doesn't mean you're not having fun. Well, women seem to have to work at it a little bit. Well, yeah. Focus. Certainly. We have to focus. Where a guy, it's kind of biologically part of their makeup. It is. To <coughs> keep humanity, to keep the, <laughs> the world turning and people but being born. Their job is to populate the earth, and our job is to restrict that overgrowth of population. <laughs> That's right where I was headed with that. If you boil it all down, our the male's job is make little babies. <laughs> And enjoy every minute of it, too. Dang right. <laughs> so every, everybody out there, if you'd like to call in for a reading, that's fine. We could do, you know, a little break in the action. 
Uh, we're going to take a break here in a couple minutes. Yep. But to refresh everyone's memory, this is Tegan Lindley, Lindley that we are speaking with today. She's awesome as a therapist. Uh, we'll have to find out what was the most interesting sexual oh. situation that she's had to <laughs> deal with in her practice. Um, I know she has a very high success rate, too. Hopefully she'll write a book one day. Mm, yes. <laughs> that would be wonderful. And we still have some other topics here, role-playing, uh, traveling out on the fringe a little. So let's go to break first. All right. We're going to get a break. Give us a call, 1-800-930-2819. We'll be right back. <laughs> want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones travel the world live spontaneously get ready because the chip justice show is here hosts dr pat basili and chip justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life living a life you love is the end game in this new inspirational and empowering show positive changes for a life you'll love Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. The ancient Inca root vegetable maca is world-renowned for its wide array of health benefits. As a family-run company of true maca specialists, the maca team's mission is to provide you with fresh, organic, premium-quality maca powders at a fair price. Amazing. All of the products are always organically grown, fair traded, GMO free, fresh and potent. So don't take my word for it. Experience the life changing benefits of Maka today. Visit themakateam.com. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Welcome back to Psychic Love Doctor Show <coughs> with our host Deborah Lee and our special guest Tegan Lindley. And we are just having much too much fun here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we should go and take another call. All right. Let's go to Brian from New York City. Brian. Hello. 
Hi. Ryan. <laughs> yes, well, hi. Hi, darling. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, Deb, I wanted to ask you about where my love life is going. Oh. <laughs> if it's going. How is it going so it far? <clears throat> um... There's not much going on. I mean, there's a couple visitors. <laughs> but <laughs> that, that sounds spicy. That, yeah, yeah, nothing that, nothing that really is, you know. Um, okay. It's not really sparking a lot of interest. I think it's more physical, but just kind of seeing what's what's out there, and if you see anything. There's nothing wrong with mutual release, and I'm sure our sex expert here would agree. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> as long as two people are consenting adults and mm -hmm. they want to, isn't, you know, going, how, what is that, friends with benefits, but not wanting too much in the way of benefits, it's going to be a good thing. I'm laying right. out to cards, and we're going to see. Okay. Now, remember, Grandma always said that the four. Suits of the deck are the equivalent of the four elements of creation. So when we put a good intention on them, like, for instance, is Brian going to be in a passion, love-filled relationship soon? We're actually creating reality. And it's something, then, that you can manifest and keep hold that energy. Because <clears throat> while the cards, I don't feel themselves can make anything happen I do believe that there are excellent manifestation tools <clears throat> what I'm seeing for you is a brand new love interest that is at a distant location I would say it's either across here in New York so it'd be yeah. maybe we're talking California or this could be in Europe but it's, it's at a great distance could be in the Midwest yeah, but I think it's I'm feeling like half a globe away, yeah, or you know, okay. very long distance. And this is a re relationship that you may have uh, locked gazes, say at a uh, event, and never thought that anything could develop. But there is great interest on the part of this this uh, individual here. And this is somebody that is going to rouse all sorts of turbulent emotions because, you know what, sometimes when we attract a true soulmate, it's not just about, oh, we have a connection. It's also about, I'm here to challenge and inspire you. And this is somebody that's going to want to make you a better man. And it's going to culminate, I feel, in a very strong commitment, quite possibly marriage, if you can imagine that. And a change in terms of your work, where you are right now um, the, in the performing stage. I'm seeing you stepping back a little bit and taking more of a, say, a director's role or a choreography role. It's going to be something more creative than what you're doing, which in a sense is a bit like artistic puppetry. Others are telling you the moves, but I think that you need to be the puppet master, if that makes sense to you. Okay? No, absolutely. I think they're all uh, a, a bit intertwined with the love. And you are going to have one heck of a great year. If things are going to start speeding up within the next couple of months, I say I'm seeing like September, October. Your world is going to be on fire. I feel that you have, will have met this other individual. If sparks are going to fly. I mean, this is going to be the best you ever had. <laughs> Gosh. And uh, I feel that you will be very impressive yourself in terms of the amount of pleasure and intimacy that you're able to convey in a relationship. So I feel that there's going to be a great love affair here. And it is going to actually Ooh. lead somewhere. And, you know, look at these. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are others that you've been with that are going to, like, be kind of chewing on their knuckles like oh i had him and now he's off the market so <laughs> i think you'll yeah, find you... out that, that these past lovers are going to come forward and say you know i always did have really deep feelings for you and a lot of that comes through the fact that somebody else has you mm -hmm. and i'm and right. tegan i hope we can get into a little bit of, of that like how these emotions such as like jealousy and anger and all 
well, often comes through, say, through makeup sex, but there's also <laughs> that, that in, incredible, uh, you know, what I'm, combustion, mm -hmm. I guess. So, Brian, it looks really good. I feel that you are going to have a long-term, possibly lifelong partner very soon. And, Han, I want to come to that commitment ceremony or that wedding, and I can, I can actually conduct <laughs> marriage, <Please>. so... <laughs> <laughs> Please, I'm sure lots are going to have bets on that. Is he going to walk down the aisle? Is he going to make it? Um, you know, because that's, that's the thing, Deb. It's like I'm meeting these people, and I agree. I think um, the physicality is very important. I'm reading, reading a very good book now called The Myth of Monogamy. Oh, it's okay. Very interesting how this author is basically saying we're not, as mammals, not supposed to be monogamous. It's not in our genetic code to be monogamous. I'll have to share it with you sometime. And Love that. Very Love that. Great. Isn't it basically a cultural, uh, I don't know yeah. if you call it, decision yeah. to make a commitment? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, it's a bit of the, the social aspect of it, of it all. And now, for me, I'm at this point now where I can sense when people are not right for me, which I've never been able to do that. And uh, and be more discerning, and it's really it, with your help. It's been it's been really good. Oh, thank you. That makes so me feel I so appreciate good. all your time always. <laughs> and for all the listeners out there, Deb is one lovely person, and we're all so blessed to have you in our lives. And, <laughs> oh, and you're gonna make me guidance. cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and I love when you call us. I really do. So you take care. Think positively. The only Thank direction you. for you is up, onward and okay. upward. Okay. All right. So, Thank you so take much, care. Steph. Have a great weekend. Oh, you have a great weekend Bye. too. Yes, Bye. and you call us again soon, hon. We want a full report. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> take care. Oh, a dog. Bye. What a great use of a reading is that he's already telling you he's had partners who he's been intimate with, experienced passion with, but what he really wanted to know is about that emotional connection. Really, right. you're right. That was wonderful. Well, I think he's reached that stage mm -hmm. in terms of his path where he's uh, got discernment mm -hmm. and maturity and has sown a lot of wild oats. <laughs> and I think now he's heading toward a sense of permanence. Like you said, with right. the emotional connection. You're looking for that deeper emotional connection because he said there isn't really a problem with finding that passionate mate. But he's ready, despite reading the myth of monogamy, it sounds like he's ready for that soulmate connection. Yeah. Well, there, that's, it does. Yeah, and I think that's wonderful to see the progression mm -hmm. and to be a part of it. I tell you, it's so gratifying to me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> tell us a little bit about... Tell us a little bit about role playing because I know a lot of people love to do that. Right. That's what I think Halloween for adults is really <laughs> all about. Look, look at these women wearing these risque oh. costumes and wigs and yeah. masks, but they're acting out their fantasy. Absolutely, the sexy nurse pops out and the mm -hmm. and the the uh, pirate wench. The means and the yeah, right. I, I think role play definitely has its place. Um, setting boundaries is pretty important. Um, discussing in advance that what you are comfortable with, what what's a yes yes and what's a no no. So definitely looking out, creating an environment full of respect and trust for both parties, um, allowing you that vast space to play with them, but knowing that you're going to be safe and you can trust your partner. And have a safe word or a safe word, yeah. a safe phrase, a safe motion. Because the whole idea is to have fun, and where you can just let your imagination go crazy. And that explode in passion. Um, fully committing to the role play. Um, that's the most important aspect of role playing is to create a meaningful, delicious, and climactic <laughs> experience for you and your partner. Um, what does that mean? It means taking your inhibitions and hanging them up at the door and letting your imagination go wild. And some people just enjoy using cuss words and dirty language, yep. which they would never do in their regular upright life. <laughs> <laughs> but in bed, you know, in bed they're like, oh. they're like sailors on me. <laughs> hey, I resemble that remark. <laughs> Sailor present. Yes, sailor is um, in the house. Sometimes, if you're new to role playing, having a script really isn't a bad idea. If you're super nervous about what to say or how to act, that script gives you that. 
framework within which to play and have fun, be adventurous, but you know that you're still going to follow that script and you know what to expect. I think also for women, it helps to have wigs. Yes. Because you can really change your persona with yeah. a wig. Right. Get a cheap blonde. Be a blonde. Yeah. And then you'll feel <laughs> cheap and blonde. And no, no offense to the blonde. Fiery redhead full yeah. of passion. Yeah. 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 Or like Elvira with the long, dark tresses. Yeah. And that is definitely the number one rule of role playing is getting into character. So that special outfit or that spicy wig is perfect. And then you wait until the act is over and then maybe you can have a little uh, rehearsal re-practice mm -hmm. and keep going for the next time because practice <laughs> makes perfect. Yep. So maybe right. this is what is really meant. Oh. You need, okay, take us to break. We're going to get a break here. We'll be back in a few minutes and continue our sexy. conversation on sexy. <laughs> What if your body and mind were the compasses to the secrets, mysteries, and magic of life? Glenna Rice, co-host of The Questionable Parent, is inviting you to access all that is possible. Glenna is a 10-year certified veteran access consciousness facilitator who offers an amazing variety of life-changing classes and workshops. Work with Glenna from anywhere with teleclasses and workshops all over the globe. To learn more and see Glenna's current schedule of events, classes, and workshops, visit GlennaRice.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pat. The ancient Inca root vegetable maca is world renowned for its wide array of health benefits. As a family run company of true maca specialists, the maca team's mission is to provide you with fresh, organic, premium quality maca powders at a fair price. Amazing. All of the products are always organically grown, fair traded, GMO free, fresh, and potent. So don't take my word for it. Experience the life changing benefits of maca today. Visit themacateam.com. Francine Vale is a being of light. She believes that all people of planet Earth are as well. As co-host of the Angel Healer radio show, Francine teaches you heart-centered ways to manifest healing on your own behalf and how to integrate love more fully into your daily life. Connect with your angels as you find your life flowing with ease and harmony. Walk the path of light with Francine and Dr. Pat Basili every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. The doctor is in. Tune in to the hit show, The Psychic Love Doctor, with host Deborah Lee. Deborah's life affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. Join Deborah Fridays at 2 p.m. Pacific and for a special broadcast the second Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Welcome back to the Psychic Love Doctor Show with our host, Deborah Lee, and our special guest, Tegan Winley. And we're talking about sex today. And how to bring sexy back into a relationship. <laughs> Sometimes we get so caught up in all the details and minutia of everyday life that we forget what, what was instrumental in bringing us together, that, that, that physical attraction. I mean, I feel that's what comes, that's the first thing, the first step. The eyes meeting eyes mm -hmm. and the, you know, electric gaze and the touch. The oh, that first touch. You know, that oh, and that kiss. You, by the way, women, I don't know how men are about this, but we can tell everything from the kiss. Mm. So you better be good kissers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. It tells us the whole story, doesn't it? I think so. We do not want to teach people how to kiss. We want them to come to us with skills. <laughs> uh, before we get any further, we did receive an email from Chrissy in Desert Rule, Iowa, who wanted to ask a really important question in her life. Uh, she's going through a lot, and she had written, Like yourself, I am also a tarot card reader. <clears throat> Excuse me. Recently, I cannot give readings. Everything I try to read relates back to my old boyfriend and his wife. I keep getting them in my cards. I have been very depressed and confused, as if my ego and id know I am separated from my soulmate and twin flame. After we broke up, he got married a month later. I would like to know if he still has feelings for me and if their marriage is going to last. And I'd like to do a quickie here for... Uh, excuse me for Chrissy, because I think there's a lot of people out there that have had this experience. It's tragic. It's more than just a broken heart. It's actually tragic, I think. So let me take a quick look. And Daryl, you could fill some air here <laughs> while I do this. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Deborah does a 24 card layout, and she uses just regular playing cards. Nothing special about them. Just a plain old deck of playing cards. And You do it too. Yes, I do too. And some of the fun facts of it is there's 52 cards in the deck. It's 52 weeks in the year. There's four suits. There's four seasons. And when we put an intention on them, it, it's, it encompasses the four elements of creation. Mm -hmm. So we're actually creating our reality at the time. There's 13 cards to each suit. There's also 13 weeks to each season. Yes. There's two colors, red and black, and there's two halves to the year. So there's a lot of similarities. Let's talk about Chrissy's reading now. Chrissy, I hope you're listening. I want to tell you that the man's wife knows about you. She knows that in his heart you're the only one for him now. I mean, remember, being married to this man... You live. You deal with a lot of life's trivialities. For instance, not to get too graphic here, but skid marks in the underwear. You know, you're you're cleaning dishes in the sink. You, yeah, you're cleaning up after them. You feel like a maid a lot of the time. Bugs laying on the floor. Yeah. Stinky breath. <coughs> you know, he doesn't maybe shower enough. You know, just all these things where the girl that's in his heart is like the princess in an ivory tower, and she's perfect. But this what this wife is she's very clever and what she is doing is she is defaming you and maligning you to the extent that it's also a big threat on him that if he goes to communicate anything to you if he sees you in a store he better go the other way she is making threats that she is out to ruin him so let's just say this is not a healthy relationship you cannot thrive, in an, and you're here with us, mm -hmm. Tegan. You can't thrive in an atmosphere of threats and, and ridicule. Mm -hmm. It's like being held prisoner. And that is what he is right now, a caged animal. I feel that if he makes some different career choices or things, there are circumstances here that are going to change in the days to come. And what will happen is this relationship is not over for Chrissy. I do feel there will be a new start. I do, but this is not the time for it. That woman is out for blood, and she's going to take everything he's ever worked for. So just let that, that marriage is going to crumble all on its own. It's just let it follow a natural progression to its inevitable end. In the meantime, you've got to go on with your life, young lady. You need to not let this overtake and cast a shadow on your own thriving, productive, and successful, because I know you are very successful on your existence. You need to be able to have patience, push these thoughts away, have self-control, and say, you know what, I'm not going to let this ruin my day today. I'm not going to lay in bed all day. I'm going to get up and go work out, and I'm going to, you know, go have some fun or do, do something productive. Right. Make pickles. That, was, that is so therapeutic when you do canning and <laughs> make pickles and give them away to everybody you know. Make cheesecakes. And I know she's out there smiling right now. 
because I know she likes to create in the kitchen. So that's my words to you, Chrissy. You have to keep yourself strong and see your way clear about your life right now. You can't, you can't wither up and die under the, what would you call Waiting it? Waiting for something yes. to come around. It will come when it is the correct time for it to do so. Right now, the universe is saying, no, this is not the time. For one thing, you don't need this woman's fingernail, her claws in your back. And that's where they're going to be, along with this great big knife that she wants to bury between your shoulder blades. And I mean that figuratively. But let's just say she'd go with a vengeance. So let them break up naturally. Then he can come to you free and clear, no baggage. And I think... That this relationship deserves that test. Okay, so that, I'm glad we broke, took, took a break for, I mean, a break for that. <laughs> yeah, she's got my tongue twirling. <clears throat> but she really does have very dynamic cards. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very smart, strong lady. I think it's a great point that you made about her moving on and letting it come in its, in its own time and its own way. And maybe when she's been through this sense of depression and gets back feeling strong again, that's what will also attract him back to her as being the woman he was attracted to in the first place. You just nailed it. Exactly. Exactly. And time does do miraculous things in our lives. Mm -hmm. So I agree completely. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I know when I'm having enough sex? <laughs> how do you like that segment? Well, the funny answer would be when you can't walk down the stairs anymore. <laughs> then that would be enough, yes. <laughs> the true answer is, and that is a completely loaded question. There is no right answer to that one. For some people, enough sex is four nights a week. And for some, it's once a month. Um, but actually, the general social survey, which has been uh, assessing American sexual behaviors since the 70s throws out data every year. And did you know that married couples have sex approximately 58 times a year? Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> this is, of course, generalizing. We're not taking into account people's ages. It's, it's serving everyone, their 20s to their 70s. Um, but interesting comparison is that single people, what's your guess? How many times per year are they having oh, sex? Oh, man. Mm. Double what married people? 111 times per year. Wow. With right. other people? <laughs> Again, not taking into account the number yeah. of partners, but that, you know, perhaps more of the people in their 20s happen to be single, so they are more active, higher, higher sex drive than someone in their 60s or 70s. So the, the true answer is there is no right answer. It's what works best for you and your partner. I think we've only scratched the surface here. We're going to have to have you back here, ladies. <laughs> oh, what fun. It, this has been great, and I hope all of our listeners have enjoyed this. We will have her back. Maybe I could talk her into being a regular with mm -hmm. us. We'll see. But we're really short. I hate that we have to run, but we'll be back here next Friday. Right. Same bat channel, same, same bat, bat time. <laughs> Daryl, thank you so much. Love you. Yeah, I love you too. Tegan, you're, you're a doll. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For and to me. all, remember to dream is to believe. And once you believe, all things are possible. Bye bye now. Have a great week, everybody. You've been listening to The Psychic Love Doctor with host Deborah Lee. Deborah has been practicing, teaching, and perfecting the personal prophecy card reading method for 20 plus years. This life-affirming, highly perceptive reading method has taught Deborah how to zero in on specific problems with relationships, career pursuits, and current roadblocks to success and happiness. This inspiring show will help you never feel helpless in life or love ever again. To learn more about Deborah, visit www.psychiclovedoctor.com.